How's it going everybody? So today before we start today's video, I got some stuff to kind of go over with you. Um, I got some new and old equipment. Um, I actually somehow, I don't know how, um, lost both the SV Bonnie, um, uh, uh, five times Barlow lens and the moon filter. So I bought them again. The moon filter just came today, but, um, it's kind of interesting. So like I said, they are kind of 2.0 to, uh, what we already had. But the good part about it is, so this is just the same thing. Um, I actually think it's higher quality than, um, the one I had before, um, and the reason being, I'll actually show you if I can get this, the caps off one-handed. Alright, so there we go. I do believe this has inside it uh, three glass elements, which I do believe um, it's, a, again, made out of metal. Uh, so that's, again, really pleasant that I'm not going to drop this and really accidentally break it on the first use or whatever. But, um, yeah. So this is metal. I think it has three glass elements where the last one had two. Um, but the most surprising part is the moon filter here. Um, and what's surprising about it is it's made out of the same material as the uh, Barlow lens. It's made out of metal. Um, honestly, when I first got it, I opened it up and I was like, oh no, they sent me the wrong size. Um, by the way, both these um, are just from Walmart. Um, again, not sponsored. Should be. Um, but yeah, so I have um, the... I have 2.0 uh, SV Bonnie, um, I still need to figure out if that's the correct way to pronounce it, uh, or not. But yeah, so, uh, we're gonna be taking moon pictures. I have to be up at, like, 3 a.m. to do the pictures. <laughs> so, we're gonna be testing out both of these products tonight to see if they really are any better. Um, I think it's like a 70 or so percent illumination tonight with the uh, moon. So this will definitely be coming in handy. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys after the intro. Again, it's really loud. Welcome back everybody. So as promised in the last video, I'm going to kind of go over quickly how to uh, star align the, this specific telescope and most other uh, Celestron go-to mounts. Um, I can definitely run through uh, the star align method, the, the actual Celestron star align. Um, and then I will also go over a bit quicker version, um, uh, and the way that I've best found how to align the, uh, give me one second, I'm going to pause this video while the car goes by. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go over the two-star alignment as well, and I'm definitely going to have to try and do this one-handed. Alright, so... Uh, this is basically going to be for the people who are, you know, looking at getting into telescopes. You know, we're all stuck at home right now, so uh, this is a great hobby to get into. Um, astronomy or astrophotography, either one. Um, but yeah, if you're a beginner, um, don't know much about it, looking for a little information on, you know, how to operate these telescopes then this information will be for you. And if you're, you know, uh, somebody who normally 
does uh, astronomy and is looking to get into a go-to mount. Um, I'll just run through it real quick. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that. All right, so obviously, first things first, you're going to want to switch it on. Now, when you... Whoop, hold on, let me turn you. There we go. When you turn it on, you will see this screen, LCM ready. Uh, press enter to begin alignment. And so what you're going to do is obviously you're going to press that center enter button. All right, so you have several options here of um, aligning, and this is the actual Celestron Skyline uh, three-star system that they want you to do first. Um, unfortunately, for me, for some odd reason, um, in my northern and southern hemisphere, I don't have any bright stars. So it's a little painful for me to do that. I can't really find one to do it. But um, over here in the hold on, uh, uh, east, I have Arcturus. And over here in the west, I have, at the moment, Beetlejuice. All right, so... Um, hold on, let me get it focused. All right, so yeah, so you can definitely do the skyline, and as you can see, it's light out right now, so it'll be a little difficult. But what you're going to do um, for any of the alignment systems is when you find the one you want, you scroll down using these two keys right here, and I'm going to do the auto two-star. Um, but it's the same concept for any of the alignments. So I, you would have to put in your time. Uh, so we'll just keep it as is for demonstration purposes because I'll have to do that uh, later anyway when I'm imaging. So that, and yes, it's standard time. The date is not the 16th anymore, but again, we'll keep it that for just now. And then you're going to go through... Um, for this one, you'll go through um, the additional information that I want you to put in, um, which I've already done, and it actually remembers is that it wants you to put in uh, your city, your closest city, um, your state, and your country, and or um, it'll also have you put in... Um, at some points, your um, actual coordinates, um, so latitude and longitude. So, for me, I would just I would scroll down to that one to Arcturus. I would press Enter, and then I would use these buttons right here to find it obviously it's not out at the moment so i would just uh manually slew to it until i had it right in the center of the viewing and yeah then i would press enter and then i'd go find so i would press enter um at this point in time your motors slow down so you can make fine-tune adjustments uh so then you would continue uh, to do so, and then I would press enter again. Uh, actually, no, I would press a line, which is right here. And then I would scroll down. Actually, this time I'll have to uh, Beetlejuice. I will press enter. And it'll slew to it, to where it thinks it is. Uh... I don't know where it's going to point at this point in time, but, um, yeah, because I, I didn't really do anything. But, yeah, it'll go to where it thinks Beetlejuice is, and then I can make fine-tune adjustments from there, and, um, yeah, and then I can uh, uh, align it to Beetlejuice, and it'll know where it is. Um, 
So yeah, that's how to do the auto two-star. Here, let me back out of that. That's how to do the auto two-star alignment. Um, I actually don't think I need to, as I told you guys last time, I did drop this telescope. I don't think I need to... Uh, um, uh, culminate it. I think it's okay. Um, I just had to re-align the uh, uh, finder scope and the actual telescope itself, which is always pretty simple. All right, so that will, I guess, be wrapping it up. I may or may not talk to you guys uh, here in a second. Um, definitely for the outro. Um, but if I, anything comes up or anything, you know, uh, that I think I forgot to mention, it comes up, I will let you guys know. Other than that, enjoy the pictures.